Hi. So today I would like to talk about Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I recently finished this book and... <sighs> no. This is like one of the best books I have ever read in my life. It's a young adult novel and it's incredible, it's amazing, it's impeccable, it's outstanding. <laughs> Just buy the book. <laughs> End review. Bye! This book is about a girl named Sam and Sam is basically in the popular gang and she goes to school one day and it's February 12th I think and it's the weekend before Valentine's Day so they're having Cupid Day in school and what you do on Cupid Day is the person who gets the most roses is basically the most popular in the school. So she's in the popular gang and they go to this party the same night and they're horrible to everybody basically as the populars are, apparently are and she dies in a car crash. This isn't spoilers by the way. No spoilers. <laughs> she dies in a car crash and every day she has to relive the same day over and over again to try and make it right. And she has to go through trying to figure out why she keeps reliving the same day over and over again. And each day it changes and there wasn't actually a moment where I got bored in this book. I started reading it a couple of days ago and I finished it in a day and a half. I was obsessed with this book, it was so amazing and the set and the plotting was just perfect. You could see why her friends were nasty and horrible and thinking they were better than everybody but then as the days went on you could actually see their characters changing. It wasn't cheesy or anything but as their characters progressed throughout the book you see seen subtle hints in them as their characters grew and they became more part of you as well. Sam has this boyfriend Rob and oh like halfway through the book I wanted to strangle Rob and just throw him as far away as possible and crumple him up and just forget about him and it oh I hate Rob I hate Rob I hate Rob I hate Rob that's mmm he tried to be dominating towards Sam and he was always trying to get something off of her and that's one thing I hated about Rob but I hated a lot of things by the way it's not just that but he was just so always looking down on her and always thinking she's this little girl it worked it worked with the story it was perfect for the story but his character you just wanted to hate him which is actually such a good thing because it means that Lauren Oliver has written this character, brought him into the story and she's made you hate this character. I personally hated him because he sucked but there was another guy named Kent. Kent, Kent, all the way, Kent, 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 Kent. You wanted her to go with Kent and kill Kent was like this dorky guy and he wears hats and he has like long hair and then his shoes and then oh he's so cute, he's so adorable, Kent. Anyway, you wanted her to go with Kent and she's always kind of mocking Kent and making these snide remarks at him and I feel so sorry for Kent and I just want to hug him and then he sends her this rose on Cupid Day and oh. You're just like, just get married, just marry her. There was one part in the book where it mentioned a scene beforehand and it was kind of the little starting point when she wakes up and she's like, oh man, where am I? Stuff like that, why is this happening? She's like, what happened last night? Oh, t-shirt reference. Yeah, but she's like, what happened last night? And then she mentioned that like three times and after the third that time I was like, please don't mention it again. But she didn't. There was nothing that I can say bad about this book. None of it dragged. None of it was demeaning in any kind of way. It was just beautifully written, beautifully set, beautifully put. This is probably my new favourite standalone book. Yes. So Kent, who I previously mentioned, it tells you in the book that he wore Crocs for 365 days a year with socks and I'm just like, no, 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 just, no, Kent, why would you do this to me? This is the only thing I had going against Kent. Apart from that, he was so amazing and perfect, but apart from the Croc thing, <laughs> Kent, why? Right, so there's this girl named Juliet Sykes and she's the kind of school loser, to put it in 
that context and th this group of friends make fun of her and I feel really really bad for Juliet because it's just like she's dealing with problems at home with her dad being an alcoholic and she's just dealing with so much and then on top of all she has these four girls making fun of her and just hating on her and all that and it's just so sad and then the end of this book comes along and no you can't end like that but Kent though Kent we want her to marry Kent not Juliet Sam and then oh, it's so sad it's really sad overall I would give this book definite 5 out of 5 stars. I'd say I had no problems with this book. I loved every single moment of it and I would definitely reread it like a million times and I'm definitely going on to read more Lauren Oliver books because I'm very excited about her reading and I cannot wait to read the other books that she has out so I will be buying them and yeah that is my book talk on Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Click the button down below. If you want to buy Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, the link will be in the doobly doo below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all with a new video next week. Bye!